all of my viewers in this presentation you are going to learn how to import structural grid lines from AutoCAD into robot structural analysis professional successfully as an advanced user of this program robot structural analysis i will be taking you through the most effective way to do this in this presentation my name is engineer ic friday an advanced and master user of this program robot structural analysis professional so let us dive straight away into the presentation of today At first, you have to prepare your grid lines successfully, just like this. Okay, so our area of concern is only on the grid lines. Okay, so you will also take your grid lines to the origin. Okay, the origin of the uh, SY coordinate. All right, so should in case you wouldn't know how to move these grid lines, uh, this building uh, plan to the origin with the grid lines, you should have to type N on the keyboard, enter, then key in zero comma zero on the keyboard and enter so this is going to look at the origin of the autocad environment successfully so once this is being located you cannot click it elsewhere okay now you know the start point and the end point of the line so the end point is uh this origin so wherever the building plan is you can move it to this origin just like this okay so having prepared your building plans with grid lines just like this you can also identify the dimension so that you not have dimension different is okay when it's been uh be transferred to robust structure so this dimension is in millimeters right there so you can also check to confirm that by typing uh units right there okay and then click on this uh unit option so check the dimension you need to scale in sections content is millimeters right there so close that okay so having closed and you know get this set we will now dive into robust structure successfully so let's create a new project in robust structural analysis professional click on the file menu right there so we have a select project dialog we pick the first one and then yes options to save the previous uh, project or we can as well as a matter of time get back to the new again click on this click on the no options so we can easily get uh, a new project okay just like this so here is a new project if you check over here you see the unit in sections is in feet and keeps right there so we have to change this unit successfully so click on that unit right there at the uh, lower right corner of this window to have the job preferences uh, uh dialog so in this job preferences dialog come to units and formats then you select the uh imperial all right sorry you select the uh, metric unit yes options all right so after which that has been changed successfully we check over here so you can as well set the numbers of decimal places all right okay so now we go by the default number of decimal places we have two numbers of different places for the structural dimensions and sections dimensions is one decimal places and we'll go by that so we click in these provisions in our last presentations i taught you how to set the database so we'll be using this uh i roc uh rocc sci template okay and then we click on the OK options. So the aim of this presentation is for us to import a uh, structural grid lines from AutoCAD into this robot structural analysis professional and as well convert the grid lines into you know robot structural grid lines and generate story as well. Okay, so if you check over there down here now, you see everything in meter, kilo, newton, and degree right there. Okay. So having said this correctly, let us get back to AutoCAD to get the file prepared successfully. Here we go. So you have to highlight all of this plan, including all the grid lines successfully. Hit on W on the keyboard and then enter. You will have this right block dialog. So in this right block dialog, we will have to click in this three dotted provisions. It will take us to the directory. We will save this uh, file. Okay. So we will save this file as robot okay we can save it with any name okay so if you check the file type or format is in dwg so you can as well save it in dsf robot structural analysis can read it both in dwg and dsf all right so we will save it as 
robot one okay so we are prefixing that with one right there so we just have to delete that robot one okay so we save this on the desktop so click on the save options and click on okay so the file has been saved on desktop let us uh, enable the robot structural analysis so we import the file successfully here we go to import the file you go to the file menu right there so in the drop down uh, menu you navigate to import right there and then you select the sf and the wg okay backgrounds select that options it will take you to a uh, window explorer where you can explore it to the file so here is the file robot one okay so all of this will be at default all right then click on the open so once you click on the open you have the plan to be presented in proper structure just like this okay so now in this dialog you can see we have dwg slash dsf import all right so you can see it's actually it's actually unit all right so the units of this has to do with the unit of this plan all right and not the unit of the robot structure this meter is the unit that the robot structure is being set to all right while the plan is being set to millimeter so you have to select in these provisions and make sure you select mm for millimeters all right okay the plan is xy uh xy plane all right so you leave all of these parts default if you take in the layers you see all of the layers have been incorporated successfully we have the dot, dot layer we have the windows layers um, we have the green lights layers have the column layers everything is being you know incorporated successfully in the import all right and this is this import is directly at the origin of the ucs universal coordinate system of the autodesk robot structural analysis so having done all of these necessary changes click on the apply right there and then click on ok option all right at this point now the first thing you need to do because these lines you are seeing are still uh, autocad lines we have not converted the grid lines to uh robot structural understanding grid lines right so we'll be doing that in a minute but at first you have to confirm the unit of measurement like the distances between the grid lines if they actually uh coincide with uh or agree with that of the robot structure uh, analysis so let's get back to autocad to check the grid lines successfully here we go so if you zoom closely you will see we have the distance between these two grid lines this one and this one you have it to be 4050 okay which is the space between this one and this one so we are going to be dimensioning this to make sure that it is the same thing once it is the same thing we proceed to the next step right there okay so we proceed let's minimize the autocad 4050 take note of that so we click on the minimize okay so what we need to do now is get straight away to the two menu right there you can see over here we have dimension line click on that so we have various dimension line you can be able to dimensions uh, uh you know align dimensions you have a uh irregular dimension it you also have an angular dimension you choose the first options right there with this line parallel okay so we need to select the first point right there and then we pick the second point but as you can see due to the grid lines uh spacing being set in order this robot structural analysis we are not able to pick uh, the exact point we needed so we are going to be doing a little bit uh, settings right away which is going to what it and so stay tuned i will be closing this right away and then i will proceed to the view tab right there in the view tab we come down to where you have grids okay come to grid steps definitions so in this grid step definition dialog you can turn on and turn off the grid steps as you can see it is set at one meters okay if the grid steps are at one meter so you can be able to snap a point at one one meters right which is not coincide with our plans so we'll turn it off so you can snap a point at any uh, point of your yeah, cursor successfully click on the apply it right there that is being applied after which close this dialog then get back to the uh to uh menu right there dimension line so we will pick the first options all right now you see we can be able to snap it at ease all right so we are dimensioning this point it's supposed to be 4050 uh 4050 millimeters okay so we pick that first point Come to the second point and pick it move your hand upward and place that so you can see this is being compacted to meters automatically 4050 millimeters is 4.05 meters successfully meaning what we have here is very correct so having confirmed this 
this is also how you can dimension your grid line successfully in auto desktop or structural analysis professional so click on the closed options right there let's proceed uh, we want to delete this particular dimensions so you can get it selected right click and click on the delete options right which is supposed to be deleted okay just like that okay so now we will convert all of these lines to grid line so what you need to do is you have to get to the geometry okay so you click on the axis definitions or you can use this axis uh, definition icon right here okay so select that you have the structural axis dialog just like this you can see we have the x uh we have this x uh directions you have the y direction and the z direction which is the vertical directions so what you just need to do have it open this you just have to start to pick a point okay you have to pick a point in the x directions to be able to define the x axis uh, uh the x axis successfully okay pick points in the x direction point of intersections okay so just watch me do it okay so i'll zoom it closely for your uh, for a better visibility all right so i'll have to pick this point as my first point this one so once you pick that point you see it's been snapped here okay and then we are having it to be 2.92 which is the axis uh the, the grid lines okay from the origin so we continue to pick the points where you have the uh the grid lines right there so i pick this which is my second grid line i have a third grid line here i have the fourth one which is this one okay this one okay i will pick this one as well so you have to zoom closely to make sure you are adding point of intersections and pick that so i'll also pick this as well this one all right so i have six numbers of uh, grid lines right there okay in the x direction so we will do that in the y directions okay so we get a new y direction and then we change the numbering it's going to be later in this case so and then we will start to pick the points just as we did so we pick the first point here pick this one all right the second grid line is this one so you have to zoom closely to be able to see it to pick it correctly all right okay we proceed pick this one all right we proceed to pick this one okay so we proceed to this one all right and then we pick this okay we have this one first followed by this one okay the last one is this all right so we have picked all the axes successfully what we just need to do now is we are supposed to define the uh story so we have a default story at three meters all right so we will do that later so just click on the apply it right there so once you click on the apply it you can close this right away so we have agree lines just like this so we have converted the autocad lines to you know robust structural analysis structural grid lines successfully just like this you can view that in the uh view tab right there so you have something like this so at this point we are only having only one story right here okay we have only one story here so to generate story Okay, what you just need to do, you have to navigate to the geometry. Okay, in the ge geometry dialog, uh, drop down menu, you get those stories. Okay, select the stories right here. Okay, so at this point, uh, I want to invite you to join our advanced training class on this uh, robot structural analysis professional. So you can reach to us to the link in the description of this video successfully. Okay, so we are preparing a very useful cost on this. Uh, program so if you have interest to also join the course you just have to indicate that interest using our uh, contact in the description of this video all right so let's make progress we want to generate up to uh, fifth stories okay or sixth stories so what we need to do having gotten to these provisions we click on the define uh, manually okay that options all right so we have at first a reference level okay is level one okay we only have level one as a default level right there okay so number of repetitions we'll be having it to be six because we are generating up to six flows right so and then the height is three meters this can be changed 
but we are going by the three meters okay in these presentations so for the numbering right there you can come over here and choose a story numbering or you can also define your own uh, numbering successfully so click on the add options right there so here we have from story uh one to the seventh story you know we add six here we already have one existing so we add a six to make it seven right there we click on the apply so once you click on the apply you will have the story being generated just like this successfully okay so with this having generated a story you can now start to model structural members or you can model your structural members at the first floor and as well generate it to the last floor which we will be looking at that in the subsequent presentations what of how to delete stories to delete your stories if you check over here we have other stories uh, so structural trees we have auto so story we generated successfully right here for this any of this story if you right click and then you want to use any of the options it will not work all right so the right way to delete stories is you get to geometry and then you will navigate to the stories right there select the stories options right there and then you can click any of these stories step seven and click on the delete options right there after you click on the delete options you see it's being removed in these provisions but it's not being implemented right here you need to click on applied so you can see now the seventh uh floors is being removed successfully you only have for one to six floors that this is how to delete story successfully in robot structural analysis profession click on the close options this brings us to the end of the presentations don't forget to like, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, so free for more advanced presentations of this kind. Thank you and stay safe. Bye for now.